way, even to uh, write propaganda, even to say the wrong things, even to write falsehood, you know, <laughs> we must defend that right. But we must also defend the right of those who hold the media to account or who call out the media. When the media goes rogue, we must also defend the right of people like Moses Kuria to speak their mind. The same way we are defending the media to say all the things they want. So, Mr. President, let me take this opportunity then to ask you this question, because it's the same, same question that we're asking this morning. You do know very well that there are structures within the country that the constitution that you fully support offers if you are aggrieved. How many times have we seen State House call on the media on the stories that we've done, number one? And number two, when you support Moses Courier on this particular issue, what are you supporting? Is it the fact or it is the abuses that Moses Courier held at the media? Because in no more sense, when a man is given the opportunity to come in and even apologize, yes, you might be angry, fine, we grant you that, but all the words that you threw at the media, at least when you're offered a chance to apologize, he could have apologized, he did not. So do you support that? Which therefore begs me to ask the question, Masharia. When it comes to media freedom in the country, what presidents is the president putting in place in this sense? Is a man who says, when the media goes rogue, we need to tell them. Number two, the DP over the other side is also saying, well, I do agree with Moses Courier. They shouldn't have done that story or that story was wrong, but I only correct him in the second part of his statement where he said that government officials are going to be fired should they work with that particular media house. When you look at the president, the setting in the country, are they pro-progressive media or they are pro-government media? So uh, one thing I, I said and I know, by and large, yes. uh, leave alone even the government, no one likes to be criticized. No one likes to be told, uh, I don't like how you're doing things. That's a basic, uh, the basic understanding or the, the entry point to my response. But then we have to understand the people who are serving, it is not for their interest they are doing whatever they are doing. It is for somebody else's interest. And therefore, they, get, they ought to get used yes. to people criticizing their position. At least for the president, I have never heard him openly abuse the media, say, calling it names like other individuals have done. But, but, but when he comes in and says, we know the media is against us, is that not the same thing that Moses Korea is saying in different words? I mean, when you say somebody is against you, it's fine. It's an acknowledgement that they are not to support you all the time, so which is fine. That, that's fine for a man who understands law, Article 34, yes. that you can do whatever it is that you want in this democratic space. Yes. Why would he turn around and say, we know you guys even write propaganda, but we are supporting you? That, those should not be the words. The, the qualification of the statement yes. that we know they are not supporting us, that is fine. But now, it when it comes to the issue of the propaganda, yes. as I said, every issue should be dealt with how it comes and how it is. Hold on, Masharia. Yes. Listen, whatever you're saying, that it's okay for the president to say that we know the media are not supporting us, but the president should know that the media should not support him. Exactly. Is that what no the law envisions it like? What, what, what it ought to be. Yes. And I think everyone, every leader should note this. The media should not or ought not to support you 100% and at all times. And that should be even you yourself who's making that statement knows very well. Yes. That it's in a, a democratic space, progressive media should not be pro-government. And actually that should even be understand from the voting. Not everyone supported you. The same way yes. the media that ought to tell people what is happening, yes. inform, yes. Uh, point out, criticize, uh, 
praise where the where it is due yes that acknowledgement should be not used as an attack that i know elijah you don't support me you should not use that to attack me yes but that's the media that you're talking to yes it's like telling a light bulb that i know this light that you have here makes me see but i know it's not supposed to make me see you know it, it, okay ben just Masharia, hold on <laughs> ben so let me let me let me give context to this here's a president who's essentially representing a constitution you are a body so when we see the president we see the law equity equality you know strictness in terms of the way a country should be run we are a democratic republic then the same same president goes around and says ha i know this media in this country doesn't support me what president is he setting I think um, first we need to pray for our head of state <laughs> in a good way because you see yes there is this culture of we against them As a first it was hustler versus dynasty mm -hmm. then it changed now it has gone to the place where we are talking about people with a pay slip versus people without a pay slip As a and, and, and a lot of people who voted for Azimio versus people who did not vote for Azimio. And we are also having conversations as a nation, led by the top leadership of yes. this country, by yes. the way. We are also having conversations about, of an, as a nation about a media that supports this side of the country doesn't support. The president is the symbol of national unity. Now, you like to think, is that And if I had been elected president tomorrow morning, I would have called the media and told the media, I know we may have had our own different ways of thinking in the past, but now we have a country. And by God's design or by a sheer bad luck or good luck, I am the president. Let us create one nation. I'm okay with being criticized by you and I'm okay with you doing your work. Yes. But at the same time, also be kind to me and be kind to this nation. Do things that will not divide the country. Do things that will make us all feel that in as much as we don't agree, we are children of the same mother called Kenya. It is usually incumbent upon the head of state to make everyone feel that he is the head of state, he is the father of the nation, and that they can always come back to him. Yes. I'm a father in my own house, and even if my child was to go wrong, I would punish and correct them, but let them always know that they can come back to me for school fees, they can come back to me for every other need in the house, because I love them and they are still my children. But you cannot be the kind of father who comes and tells your children, when a Jew unipendi, unapenda jirani, they remain your child. Na hata mukifanya KCP mtoto wako apate 200 marks na mtoto wa jirani apate 400 marks. Hauwezi chukua huwa jirani useme huwa amepata 400 ndio wangu. The child that is yours remains your child. So I think the presidency starting with the president himself and the DP have a lot of work to do. Yes. And that a lot of work they have lost it when maandamano happened. Uhuru Muigai took advantage of when Raila was about to start his own mandamano during the second term and brought him close and his people and made them feel that this nation belongs to all of us and he had a peaceful five years and the disgruntlement would only come from a few people here and there. This is a golden opportunity. I wish he took that opportunity a mandamano and all the other noise that has been happening in the country to get the disgruntled people not to tell them I am the head of state, mupende musipende, mimi ndio nilichaguliwa, nyinyi mulipoteza, wewe muko msituni. This is the opportunity to make every other person who feels like they are not part of the Kenya Kwanza administration mm -hmm. to feel that we have a magnanimous head of state yes. who reaches out to you even when he has got the power to crush you. Yes. And makes you feel a Kenyan and makes you feel that you want to be part and parcel of this nation. Yes. Too bad the advisors around him are the Oscar Sudis of this world who survive in divide and rule, and a few others who have no understanding of what it is that it takes to build a nation. Yes. 
but I pray that he gets people who mean well for this nation yes. and people who understand that the media is an ally, it's not an enemy. And let me tell you, even the person who comes with a lot of venom fighting you today, and they come and tell you, you owe me a hundred shillings, I'm going to be, ah, ata see me, ani 150. Huh? Yeah, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to how it is 150. Unajua ni 150 kwa sababu, ulikuja, and when you came, you know you have made a few phone calls, yeah. you have tried following, ata uliandika obi pale kwa police. Naze. So I'm imagining you spent another 50 shillings on this process. So yes. I owe you more than 100 shillings. So now you've disarmed this person. I'm a kudai mia. Can you imagine someone comes and tells you, you owe me 100,000, then you tell me it's actually 120. I will sit down, I tell you where the other 20 came from. Now he gets an interest. And then you start explaining to him why you're not able to pay and how you can pay in good time. We can all create allies of the people we want. I'm a lawyer who works in mediation arbitration. I don't do the conventional litigation of taking people to court. Yes. Because I realize that the two people who have a dispute understand it better than the judiciary. Yes. This nation can be built on love. Mm -hmm. It can be built on concession. Yes. It can be built on the head of state just calling people and having a conversation with them. Pretty much. Yeah. Ben, just before I move on to um, Mr. Masharia, I want you to read, I want you to hear the words of... Um, 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 Judge Mugane, when he was, was getting in that injunction to stop Moses Korea from uttering anything against the media in the country. And then you tell me, how close is it to the same same judge also advising the president and the DP in the selection of the words they use when they talk about the media in the country? And this is what, and this is what they said, that pending the hearing and determination of this application, an injunction be and he is thereby issued against the cabinet secretary, Ministry of Investments, Trade and Industries, Horn Moses Korea, preventing him from uttering and expressing, now here, any insulting, number one, demeaning, belittling, condensating, disdainful, disparaging, or valifying words against any media practitioners within the meaning of Article 34 of the Constitution of Kenya. Now, let me turn the same, same description here by Judge Mugane to what the president says. That I know sometimes you guys are against us. I know that very well. I know you do not support me during the election. The election is done. Now, I know you're against me, but we got to support you to your job. Is that not the same, same direction you will give the president? How is that not qualified? in this ruling by Judge Mugane? I, I yeah. think, again, we've lost it. And, and, and I, 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 sometimes I suffer trying to, to reduce my thoughts to something that I can be able to explain to the public. Kama kuna makosa tulifanyia mungu wa tusamehe, to deserve a government that would require a court order and an injunction for them to behave. How did we get to the point that for a cabinet secretary to behave, or for a president to support the media, they would require a court injunction. How did we get there? As a nation, we deserved to get leaders who, with or without a court order, with or without an injunction, are able to very easily um, obey the law and do the right thing and refuse to insert, to insult and condense in and on all those things that the judge has said. Kenya deserves a leadership that does the right thing without an injunction and without a court order. We deserve that leadership. So what, Ben? And we have it. So what, Ben? I, I, I take it back to the voters. Next time I'm telling them, and I beg you, whoever you are, if you're a voter out there, <laughs> please next time don't be very emotive in your voting it is wise and fair <laughs> and good to try as much as possible yes to understand what it means to have a vote in your pocket yes and to use it correctly then we don't have to deal with such problems pretty much mr mashari i want you to go back to whatever it is you're trying to describe so when you listen to this particular injunction here by judge mugane you would say the same thing to one, the deputy president, and the president. Because when you look at how he's gone through it, it's essentially saying, 
guys, according to Article 34, whatever they want to do, it's well protected. In other words, shut up. Let it go on. I think what the judge is doing is actually reminding people of the position they should be yes. once they are elected. And I said, the statement by the president that he understands and he confirms that not everyone uh, supported him should be qualified with a statement that I will not or my government will not interfere with the operations. Because saying that they do, they do not support him and ending it there, it is not uh, elaborate as to whether he is going to allow by implication, action or inactions, other individuals related to him to attack the media. And you see, that is why I believe what we have courts. It is unfortunate that uh, people ought, people who are supposed to be championing for national agenda, national framework, national developments, are to be reminded by the court on how they should speak. It's very unfortunate because it diverts, it deviates our attention to things that are not very beneficial to us. Now we have, imagine for somebody to have gone to court, the court spent some time listening to that application. Somebody spent time drafting that application. The judge used national resources to hear that application. Well, as the act Actual causation is utterances by somebody who ought to have been doing bigger things than that. You see, that's why I, I, I think uh, there has, those who are in position and those who are not in position, they have not fully appreciated uh, what is their specific role yes. in terms of the national building. I, re I fully agree with what my colleague said. The president is a symbol of national unity and doesn't stop just being from being a symbol. He should spearhead the national unity of this republic. In any debate and how the constitution frames the issues and the first article of the constitution gives people all the powers they have, which is to be exercised as provided in article two. Yes. So the president is a creature of the people. So the president when he listens to people, when he engages people, and the people here means everyone, yes. you take what is good and beneficial to them and champion that which is of a great utility to them. We talk about the, the, the social government and utility, utilitarianism, yes. and the benefit of the great majority. But when we allow, and uh, it's unfortunate that even those people who the president sends to represent him, Sometimes they go overboard, not concentrating on the issues they ought to concentrate yes. and deviating the interest. If we are discussing how can we lower the, the, the taxes. Yes, in 45 seconds, Mashari. Yes. yes. How can we ensure that the media is more neutral, is more, is more legitimate in operations, rather than just abusing it because the media will be there forever. But the position and the capacity some leaders hold, it's not permanent, it's periodical. Now, if they fail to take the positions well, it will be unfortunate that they will have failed at all of us. Pretty much. Yes. Guess what? Take the gentleman that we've had this morning, that is Ben and Mashari online, and just get into their thoughts on exactly what is wrong with this particular issue. If you're going to listen to Ben Benison, you're wasting time on the wrong person. Why are we talking about this? So we're talking about completely something different. And he's asking then, I do not understand how we got here. But we have to wait for the courts to tell our leaders exactly how to speak. It is wrong. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for coming by. Yes, 15, 15. Yeah. If you don't import cooking oil that we need, and you don't have 5.7 trillion being or billion being paid outside of payroll, the media will not have that story to cover. Well, if a, there is no cooking yeah. oil being ported <laughs> against the needs of Kenyans, the <laughs> media will not have that story a, to cover. A, and a, 